There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> Shalom. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha Kadash. Double, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing this world to sincerity. And a special, you know, hey, peace to the elect out there, man. Okay? So, I did a video on this before on the trailer of Civil War. Now, you now look at the news. Look what's going on. You see what's going on between Texas and the American government with this with this um, immigration border patrol crisis. Okay? Like, hey, if you know your history, or you go to the uh, book of Revelation, the sixth chapter, verse four, about the red horse, and they shall kill one another. They always been in-house fighting with the Edomites, man, all the time. Okay? And as you can see here, even though it's a grand stage, a grand stage distraction, but we, but guess what? This is prophecy. All right? And, and all the servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are hoping for things to kick off, man. <laughs> like this, you know, big civil war within the unwalled villages of Babylon. Okay? And it's a beautiful thing, man. All right? So let's get with the scripts, man. Let's get with the scriptures, all right? It's Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And I'm going to jump down to the point. All right, we'll start at the first verse. To everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right, a time to be born and a time to die. But let me get to the point. All right, this one I want to get to, I think it's verse eight right here. A time to love and a time to hate. So if you clearly look what's going around throughout this earth, there is no love on this earth. Right now, we're at the time where... Um, the love of many shall wax cold We in that time Okay And right now we at the time of hate Take a look around you Take a look at the people that's driving in front of you Take a look at when you go sh um, Grocery shopping Alright Take a look around you when you go to the gym Take a look around you when you at work Everybody is in an all time high With tension Anxiety Alright No trust whatsoever why? Because the wicked is running this earth. All right, so let's read. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Okay? And where, if you look at the season we're in, we're in a time of hate and war. The only time peace will occur is when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns to destroy Babylon and Great America. All right? So. A clip I showed you is what you see here, man. Egyptian versus the Egyptians. America versus American versus American. And this is all part of prophecy. All right. So let's get part of that prophecy. See, the thing is with these people around Babylon, the great, a.k.a. America, they trust they trust in their leaders, man. OK, but the ones who know better, those diehard pat patriotic Americans who believe in the constitution they do not trust in this government man all right they wanted to fight tooth and nail to save their precious country which is not going to be um saved man it's going to be destroyed by nuclear uh, thermal nuclear destruction all right thus says the bible revelation 18 read <laughs> revelation 21 anybody that applies to read you know, so let's get with the scripture. Let's get with um, Isaiah. Um, let me start Isaiah. Let's start at Isaiah 30. All right. This goes to the people who has too much trust in this. All right. Woe, woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord. So who are the rebellious children? It's talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. You are the rebellious children. Why? Because number one, you are enemies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You trust in Esau, the so-called white man, more than the Lord. You trust in your own inventions more than the Lord. You have no faith, okay? 
So you are the enemies of Yahweh Basham Shah. You are the rebellious children. All right. Let's read. That take counsel, but not of me. See, what's the counsel our people over here in America take, man? What's the counsel they listen? They listen to their leaders, man. They listen to their politicians. They listen to their pastors. Okay? They listen, they, 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 they lean hard on their degrees and education. Okay? Instead of leaning to the counsel of the Lord. So who's the counsel of the Lord? That's a question everybody wants to know. Who's the counsel of the Lord? Let's talk about the men of great millstone and the men that's teaching in the same doctrine of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the true counsel of the Lord. The Lord will always send his servants to um to di direct a message to you, man. Okay? That's the counsel of the Lord. Now let's read. They take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering. But not of my spirit. So what's the covering of our people here in America? They have the covering of Esau. Alright. They have the covering of the so-called white man in his ways. They have the covering of the image of the beast. Homosexuality. This education system. Religion. Many others, man. Their own self-worship. Okay. That's the covering they have. They don't have the covering <coughs> of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's read. <clears throat> and that may add sin to sin. What does it mean by that? Because majority of our people is committing adultery, idolatry, murder. All right. They all doing this, man. That's the ways of Esau, Edom. That's the ways of America. That's the ways of Babylon. Extortion. Many things, many others, man. All right. They walk to go down to Egypt. This Egypt is talking about America, right? And have not acts of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. All right? Now, by the results of that, by you want to arm yourself as the strength of, of these heathens in their ways, look what's happening. Everything's crippling around you. Everything is collapsing. Your, the, the trust in your, your government, the trust you have in your government, the trust you have in your leaders, what happened? Where they at? They hiding. They allowing this, this, this collapse to happen. So what are you going to do? <laughs> there you go. There's always questions. Never answers with you. All right. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. They trust in the shadow of America, man. All right. They trust in their, in their leaders, the government. But look what's going on. There's in-house fighting between governments, between the Republicans and the so-called the, the Democrats is in-house fighting with these so-called white people, man, and their power structure. And it's a beautiful thing that this is going to happen. So let's get to the point, man. This is Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19. We'll start at the top. All right. Let's start. No, let's get to the point, man. All right. Let's get to the point. And I will set Egyptians against the Egyptians. So when you go to the word Egyptians, when, you get, when it says Egyptians, remember, this is prophecy. All right. The Egyptian is talking about America right now. The so-called Americans. All right. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor from city against city and province against province. It will say here in the King James Version. And kingdom against kingdom. That's what's going to roll. You see all these red states supporting Texas. And you see all these blue states supporting the government of America. What is that called? It's called civil war, people. All praise and glory to Yahweh Basham and Shai for all this, man. This is prophecy. All right? You can't, you can't make this up, man. You cannot make none of these things up, man. Over here. All right? So... I got another scripture here, and I'm going to close it out, all right? Because this is a wonderful time to be living if you are a true servant of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Why? Because prophecy is unfolding, and guess what? We're much closer to the kingdom and the return of our king, man, all right? So, let's get this out, all right? Um, 
So it's um, 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, verse 14. All right. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means destruction. All right. Verse 15. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. So the destruction of this place, Babylon, <clears throat> is close, is near. All right. These prophecies are starting to unfold a lot. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. That's talking about Egyptians versus the Egyptians. I ain't talking about the modern day Egypt. I'm talking about America. All right. American versus American. That's what's going to roll. As you can see, it's happening. And swords in their hands. What's the modern day sword? The modern day sword are these guns, man. Okay. As you, as you saw with the guy in the clip. He said, what kind of American are you? And he looked at him like, that's what's going to roll. It's going to be nothing but mass confusion. All right. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition among men. You look up that word, the definition of sedition. I'm not going to do it for you. All right. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes. That's what's going now. Because Biden is the so-called president, right? He's the president of this corporation, all right? And you see the Texas governor, the leaders of Texas, they're not listening they listen to authority of the president. It is, and it's a beautiful thing. So they're not going to... This scripture fits, man. And then you got the, the, you know, the regular American people. They confuse. You got the people of Texas, they with, yo, they with the governor of Texas, man. They're like, nah, we ain't having it, man. If they're going to bring in their army, we're fighting. That's the mindset. And guess what? Nobody's paying attention to this right now, but we are. That's why I'm reporting and doing videos. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard the king nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And a man should desire to go to a city and shall not be able. Because when that time comes, man, they're going to be martial law. And a lot of these cities are going to be closed off. Any towns that you want to go to is going to be closed off. Where's your paperwork for you could go here? That's what's going to roll. So prepare for that. To then, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. To then, another video. Shalom.